welcome to another episode of Solve That Problem. Today, we will be factoring an equation and finding the, the real numbers over the complex numbers. And let me introduce to you our two new contestants. Contestants. Lady Gaga and Mr. Brown. Are you two ready to begin? Yes. <laughs> All right, so your problem today is f of x equals x to the third minus 5x squared plus 8x minus 6. You need to factor that and find the real numbers over the complex numbers. Ready? Begin. Mr. Brown, did you have a an answer? Oh, I'm sorry, you ran out of time. How about you, Lady Gaga? My answer is f of x equals x minus three, x minus one plus the plus two i, and x minus one minus two i. Wonderful. Can you explain how you got that answer? Okay, so first to find the real zeros of the problem, we have to use negative 6 over 1, which is the rational zero theorem. So what we're doing is finding the possible rational zeros of f of x. So we take our factors of 6 over 1, and we say plus or minus because we don't know if they're negative or positive. And our factors are going to be plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, and plus or minus 6, because these are the factors of 6. And since they're over 1, we won't have any fractions. From there, since we've limited our possible zeros and factors down to 8 possible answers, this problem is going to be a lot easier. So now we try certain numbers. I started with 3. And what we do now is set the problem in synthetic division and divide by 3 to see if it is a factor of f of x. So using synthetic division, what we do is take the coefficients of f of x and drop them down. So we have 1, negative 5, 8, and negative 6. Using synthetic division, you'll always drop down the first number. So the first number is 1. Now, what we'll do is multiply 1 times 3, and we're adding. So negative 5 plus 3 will be negative 2. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. 8 minus 6, or 8 plus negative 6, will be 2. And 3 times 2 is 6, giving us a remainder of 0. Because we have a remainder of 0, we can tell that 3 is a factor of f of x. So now that we know that 3 is a factor of f of x, and it gave us this equation, we can now put this equation back into a quadratic formula using these coefficients. So 1x squared. So we just have x squared minus 2x plus 2. Because there's no way to factor this problem using simple factoring, we're going to have to use the quadratic formula, which is the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of 4, or sorry, b squared minus 4 
times A times C divided by 2 times A. Our coefficients will be, as written here, A equals 1, B equals negative 2, and C equals 2. From that, we can plug in the B numbers into the quadratic formula. So we'll have the opposite of B, which is the opposite of negative 2, plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 2 divided by 2 times 1. To simplify that, we'll get the opposite of b, so the opposite of negative 2. Negative times a negative will give us a positive 2. Plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared will give us a positive 4. Minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 2 is 8. So we'll have 4 minus 8 divided by 2 times 1 is 2. From there, we can tell that under our quadratic, we are going to have a negative number. So simplifying further, we'll have 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 4 over 2. This means that our negative 4 under the square root will give us an imaginary number. So we take the square root of 4, which will give us 2, and because it's a negative and we can't take a negative, it will be an i. So the i replaces the negative when you're taking the square root. So we'll have 2 plus or minus 2i divided by 2. From there, we can see that our numbers will simplify. Then we'll have 1 plus or minus, because 2 divided by 2 is 1, i. So if we were to write this problem in factored form, we would have f of x equals x minus 3, because when we took the synthetic division, we divided by 3 to get a remainder of 0, so that means that 3 is a factor. And if we set x minus 3 equal to 0, it would give us a positive 3. And then we use our factors of i, so we have x minus 1 plus i, and x minus 1 minus i. Because this is the 3 degree polynomial, we can see that because this is degree 3, we have 3 terms, and that would be the correct answer. Wonderful job, Lady Gaga! You win! Yay! <laughs>